Well, I know this season the show's going to hit the 100 episode milestone. Talk to us more about this accomplishment. Well, <laughs> some of us have uh, hit the 100th episode. Me, I've hit 87, 88. <laughs> so I'll take this question. Yeah, yeah. he'll take this question. No. They get to show up for each other in different ways. Yeah. Um, um, but then moving forward, there's almost like potential for things to come up in a not so great light. But we get to see their friendship persevering and, and them being there for ways uh, in ways that they didn't necessarily expect for each other and um yeah just i just think it's a really lovely journey for them this season we get closer than ever this season yeah so i can only tease that and you know there's a lot of uh changes in in the relationship and in in how we interact and all those things yeah 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 we're trying to give the audience what they want yeah that's memory of a moment where you broke character on set. Have you ever broken character on set? Oh, bro, all the time. Okay, good. Yeah. Because I was going to call you a liar if you said no. Nah, I, I break character all the time. Like, especially, like, on 911, we'll have plenty of times where, and again, usually it's fucking Kenny. <laughs> Kenny will get us. <laughs> yeah. And he'll be just playing a dead face, and next thing you know, all of us are dying laughing. <laughs> Uh, what does this do? You know what it does. I am taking over as ET correspondent on the set of the season sex. 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 Oh. Don't, don't include that. Don't include right. that. Woo! That's a different show. You know what? Our ratings are gonna go. Through. You know what? Now, unfortunately, we have yeah. to do some more nodding. Season sex. With Eddie, uh, when we first met him, he was kind of a Captain America kind of person. He's just like all this, these perfect things going for him, and and <laughs> honestly, <It's just> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it was very nice to kind of deconstruct him and and show him or show the audience his flaws and and how. He was trying to hold all this, the weight of the world on his back for, for so long that it was nice to see him reach out to the character Bobby or the character Buck and, and allow people to help him. And now coming into the seventh season, we're actually starting to see how that help is being played out and allowing him to really sit back and, and enjoy life a little bit easier. He's still perfect, though. I don't know about that. <laughs> Guys, Elena's on here. Elena? Say hi. What's up, Elena? We miss you. Bruh. Say hi to Elena, Oliver. So, but the, but that's a nice photo. But the problem is she thinks now that I asked for that. Right? Yeah. I didn't ask. <laughs> she told me to post. So don't come over here with that. Oh, no. Well, what did you just ask him, Kenny? Hey, hey, so did you opt to do this shirtless? I don't think this was in the script, pal. <laughs> and now, its new home is right here on ABC, and we are thrilled to have him. Absolutely, and joining us today is Oliver Stark, who plays Buck Buckley, and also Ryan Guzman, who plays Eddie uh, Diaz. <laughs> Get out of here! Go away! <laughs> What are your traits? I'm not looking, I'm not okay. looking. Okay. Are you doing like a cold, um, This is the one, this is the one. You feel it? Like the super slow camera. Alright, let's roll, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can to give them justice thursday nights right here on abc 36 and we want to thank you both for uh for bringing us years and years of awesomeness with 911 looking forward to the rest of season seven here as you <laughs> hey kaylin 
Hey, Kaylin. Oh. Hey, Kaylin. Really like the show. Yes. They're rolling, so we have to be quiet. Have to be a little quiet. Hope you keep uh, watching it, and we're glad that you love it. Yes. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Oh, you guys rock. Thank you. Like, the way that I think about him is, is like, he's... I don't think about him now as a queer character, right? Like, his 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 bisexuality is not his one defining trait. I think of him as a character who's queer. He's like, he has this multitude of different things totally. to him. And like this any is just, person, though, exactly, right? exactly. And that, and that's what, what I mean by like, it's representation. It's, it's not just, he's not just shoehorned in and like, look, we've got a bisexual in here. It's like, no, he's a fully fleshed out character. And that's just one aspect of who he is. Real life emergency hits. Who out of the cast are you trusting to save your life? Aisha Hines. She's always on her phone, so she'll call 911. What are you doing? You, you making a career change? Well, maybe. Is this Graham Norton? How do you think I'm... Come on. Is that what, you, is that what you're doing? That James Corden left his show. It's very true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the sexiest man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi. What am I doing? You're being sexy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a it's a sexiest man. Fantastic. Sexiest man. We talked about. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a sex it's a season sex sexy.